Patrick and Pals, and I'm back with the Buick, and what a difference. New wheel cylinder, new hardware, and new brake shoes makes. Look at the difference of the depth of the shoe, the material, the brake stopping material. Look at that. Really different. Now one of the things we did not change are these rubber hoses. There's no reason to change them if there's no cracks and they haven't deteriorated. So that's it. Now, something else I wanted to tell you folks about this car. Um, you know, most cars run DOT 3, right? Brake fluid. I actually run DOT 5 silicone brake fluid, okay? DOT 5 doesn't collect moisture like DOT 3. Now, it's different theories back and forth whether you should use DOT5 or not. Now if you have an analog brake car you can't use DOT5. In most applications DOT3 is sufficient for most cars. DOT4 for some imports. But silicone uh, really became popular in the early 70s into the 80s and they used it in racing applications. And I've used it in all my classic cars, and the reason I do that is uh, it doesn't collect moisture. It's not hygroscopic like that three. So, if you've got a car that does a lot of sitting, um, you put the dot five in there, you never have to worry about the moisture building up in the brake system. Now, I don't have that problem. I drive this car every day. Um, it goes to the gym with me every day. Uh, I took it cross country last summer to a car show. Um, I want to do that again and um, so we're gonna we're gonna get these brakes taken care of obviously. We're gonna rewire the car. That's another project coming up and uh, when we do that I'll do a video series on it. If you've got a 48 Buick, bring it to pals. See you soon.